Hi guys, Hiru here with none of it for Blender. In this one, we're going to talk about how to use trim sheets in decal machine. Let's just add a cylinder and let's, uh, I'm going to run apply crease on it with hard up. So I'm going to press Q and um, actually not yet. Let's, uh, let's shape it up a little bit. So let me just turn my screencast keys on so no one is whinging about it. There we go. And let's uh, go here, control R, come on, control R loop and control B. And then uh, EM macro is uh, hard ops and SC, scale it a bit and Bob John call. And then I'm gonna run um, shift control click on sharp and which will apply crease and sharp edges, bevel done. Now we're going to press Ctrl 2 to smooth it out with some sub D, right? So we've got a really smooth duo going on. And uh, everything is peachy, right? So now let's say that we wanted to add some trim sheets to this thing, right? When you press D with decal machine, you will not going to find any trim sheets in here because trim sheets actually are available in edit mode. Okay, that's a trim sheet. Looks like a bunch of decals because that's basically what trim sheet is. Trim sheet is nothing else but just a, um, you know, a bunch of decals. So like when I when I pop this one on, right, um, you will see nothing because I'm in object mode. If I switch to, um, you know, um, look that you see that all these decals were dropped on it. So if I go to UV editing, you will see this whole trim sheet. Let me switch to normal map. You will see this entire trim sheet, right? This is the whole trim sheet and basically it's been sliced into these small decals, right? That's what's happening. Okay. So every single decal is found here and these top parts here, the panel like looking, these are the repeating panels that will go along uh, your geo. Okay. So that's what's happening now, how this thing works, right? So before we do anything, let's duplicate this maybe three times and select all of them and press in fact for all four of them, Alt M and add blank material. Control click this. There we go. That's what I want to do. I rarely use this, so never remember which one is which. Let's go here. We got you know unique mass. Well, not that unique. So let's make this one a bit more unique. Uh, make it bluish or something, and less maybe you know psychedelic like um, something like that. And this one could be a bit more rubberish. So something like this. Right. And these are cool now so what we're gonna do here right is uh, add some trim sheets to it and see how you know how this thing basically behaves okay this one's a little bit eye poking right there we go and also let me change this to something a bit more civil and calm perfect okay <clears throat> so let's hide this thing because it annoys me at the moment so um let's say that we know we want to we want to add some stuff to it right so like I said, if you select, you know, a bunch of faces and just simply click on plus, it's going to edit everywhere. But if you click on alt and, you know, hold your alt and click on the uh, tr uh, respective trim sheet that you want, to, let's say this one, it will going to edit only to this, uh, you know, to this area. If you scroll your mouse, it's going to uh, rotate it. But if you hold control, it's going to scroll through every single panel trim sheet in the library. Okay, which is really cool. We can settle with this one. You can see that it edited in a circular like fashion so it just goes around the whole geo because this trim sheet if you go to uvs right the stream sheet uh, literally what it does is uh, where is it here uh what it does it repeats yeah so you see that now this uh these uvs okay these uvs are running al along this trim sheet now the cool thing about it which you can do right is when you want to adjust it it's a bitch to work with this fucking small window man it pisses me off anyway so what you can do about it is you can you know you can move it adjust it and when you move the uvs in here you can see that stuff moves about yeah so in the old days uh, you know back in 1700 people used to do it by hand you know they're just moving uvs and adjusting them and rotating them and and you know whatnot we don't do it anymore we just use a tickle machine you know, like every intelligent person would so now let me collapse this back yeah and show you a bit more about it so we can add the the pounds to more than one you know one one strip of geo so we can add them to two so now once you edit one of them you can add another one by simply clicking on it it's gonna add another one hold control you can scroll through different you know types of trims right like this one for example 
Now when you rotate it around you will see that eventually you might find a place when it kind of cuts off. And the reason for it is that UVs are simply not aligned properly, right? So now the only way to, to uh, align it properly is to actually um, um, scale the UVs. So you select the, not here, you select the UVs in here, okay, with uh, pressing A, and you simply scale them. So you press SX and you scale them and, and hold shift until they match, you know, uh, perfectly here and Bob Janko, you're done, right? So that's how you do it. And then, you know, we got other other trims in here. We can pop, you know, some more stuff. So let's collapse this one and uh, let's add some more stuff in here. So let's go here and, I don't know, click on this one, maybe. Uh, maybe not this one. Hold control and let's scroll through them, see what they have to offer. This one is pretty cool. And we can, you know, we can add some more stuff in here. Uh, so click on this and hold control and, I don't know, Oh, this one will do right and there you go now on top of all this you can add normal decals so you can go to decals and just you know slap a decal on it and let's uh, drop a cursor in here and then drop this one to cursor and make it a little bit larger d project and bob Janko, right and you got a decal on top of it in addition you can drop decals on top of decals so if i wanted to for example um i don't know drop my name in here so I could do it, I could just, you know, go here, drop you and make it, whoa, make it smaller, hold G, I mean control and uh, D and shift control and adjust it. You can put it on the rim because, you know, we are edgy people. So project, boom, done. Yeah, you will need to adjust it a little bit, of course, because it's not, you know, it's not going to be perfect. Remember that there is an illusion going over this one, right? So. If it doesn't go well, you know, try to reposition it to some place that makes a bit more sense. Like, for example, here, right? Here would probably make a bit more sense, right? So, there you go, right? So, there's your, there's your decal. And you can drop other decals as well. So, for example, if I wanted to pop, I don't know, um, some kind of a emissive decal on top of it, I can if I want to. So, you know, I could just go ahead with, uh, I don't know. Hmm... Well, this one might be a bad idea because it's a bit flashy, but um, you know this one will do. You know, drop something like this and and pop it on. No problem. You see, it works, right? So it's pretty crazy um, and fast way of you know working. Now you ask yourself a question: Well, that's fine, dandy, but what about dropping different mats on it? Now, if you could try to drop a different mat on it, right? So let's say select this item and uh, select these. Um, faces and go to uh, plus and add the material and assign the thing's gonna disappear and the reason for it is that it's been simply re-unwrapped to an empty space on on this sheet now the way around it is simply to let's go back right uh, to change this mat to a trim sheet mat so how you do it you simply select the mat and then you select the trim sheet of your choice and then you click this one in a trim sheet material boom and it creates new material and this one in a trim sheet and in a trim sheet and we're done and now when i want to change color so when i'm going to select these two for example right i want to make it a bit more silverish right i'm going to add the mat and um, select which one is it i think this one and assign and bob jungle and now it works yeah so the same with you know all kinds of mods like the darker one too so let's say you know we wanted the bottom to be rubber um no problem uh add the mod then select the rubberish one which is which one uh this one i think no uh hang on a second i think it's this one whoa add the mat then grab this one and assign well that's the same one the silver one wait a minute add the mat i wish they were a little bit better you know tagged because there we go now you got this lovely lovely little rubber going on uh, on the bottom it looks pretty pretty badass to be honest so there you go you know <clears throat> that's how you do it right it's it's pretty easy and and quite frankly quite bloody awesome also the small the small bits yeah i mean the small the small decals the way you do it i mean you it, you know 
uh, it works on UV, so if you want to add something to an existing, you know, and to an existing geo, and you want to add some more loops, you're gonna probably have to re unwrap it. So, you know, uh, we can re unwrap these. Uh, let's go with the cubic projection, and then we simply go here and we're going to unwrap it to empty. So, this will remove all the junk from this strip. Now we have these faces unwrapped, meaning we can select one of them and, for example, punch in some numbers in here. You see what I mean? And then it was rotating, you can rotate it with your wheel and we can add some numbers let's say 45 anyway guys hope it helps you out hope it helps you understand how the trim sheets work in uh, decal machine they're quite freaking powerful to be honest and the uh, you cannot actually bake trim sheets with decal machine the only way to do it is bake them uh, either in blender or outside blender which probably is something i would recommend with softwares like you know substance painter or mama said mama said ball sack as i call it because blender is just bloody garbage in terms of uh, baking so and wouldn't recommend it even machine was baking this stuff outside because he said you know you live on the one so why die baking so anyway um that would be it and you know but once you bake it you can actually bring all the maps and 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 um because you know you you bake the uh, curvature map you bake the the AO map, you bake the normal map, and so on and so forth, and you bring them all into Blender, and then you can actually create a trim sheet from the, these maps using Decal Machine. But the baking itself needs to be done outside Decal Machine, it needs to be done with external software, all in Blender, right? So you just simply need the maps. But I think I'm going to be covering this one in future videos, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point I'm going to get to it and show you guys how to do it. Yesterday I published a video on a brief video on how to design trim sheet it wasn't actually a full trim sheet design because you would have to watch me over there sitting freaking 10 hours doing the damn thing but the philosophy is the same so if you know um it, it, once you watch a bit of it you're probably gonna have the vague idea how it's done but there's a bit more to it so probably more videos gonna come up on this one and uh you know in short a trim sheets is like uh the way to go in terms of game assets because you know i mean look at this i mean look at this it's just bloody amazing isn't it i mean you, good luck creating all these tiny bloody details with you know with geo right so anyway that's it for me guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did the usual links in the video description to all the add-ons especially decal machine which is the you know um the spotlight today but also box cutter hard ops and all the add-ons i'm using links in the video description so if you're interested look there that's it guys catch you next video